All right, everybody. So we have got the last movie slash series trailer here. One second, I got. Um, let's check this out. Um, so this next one, uh, Tommy Boy has told me that he has not seen the first season, so you gotta get on that. You gotta get on the first season. I gotta do a review of the first season. Or maybe, so I don't know how long this whole show is gonna go. Ah, see, it's probably gonna be too long. I don't know. I gotta do something about putting a, putting some, maybe I'll do a blog post about the first season. But, um, this is a show. I liked the first season. Now the second season is coming out, so... Um, what, tell the people what you heard about the, don't tell them the name of the show, but what'd you hear about it? Like everybody that's ever seen it, they, they said it was great. They, they, they loved it. So like, I really do need to get on watching that one. Yeah. All right. Well, let's move forward then and, uh, reveal to you guys out there what we are watching. We are watching the trailer for the action pack needs you. You can support Mike's After Action Reviews on our Patreon for as little as $3 a month. Every quarter, once we've made at least $200, we're going to be giving away 10% of our earnings from Patreon in a giveaway over on our Twitch, so go check that out as well. You can find all of the links for everything in the description and in the pinned comment down below. Do your part. Support the pack. The Action Pack. House of the Dragons Season 2 Official Teaser Max. Coming at us from Max, previously HBO Max. Um, it'll always be HBO Max to me. We're going to like the video. <laughs> um, so I just want to say, guys, look. Game of Thrones had a bad ending. It just did. Everybody agrees it. Agrees with it. That ending d destroyed careers and everything. There was a huge thing about um, the two guys who were writing it were going to write Star Wars movies afterwards and everything. And once the, once the Star Wars guys saw how bad the ending of Game of Thrones was, they said, nope, get out of here. We've ended those. Co they threw those contracts in the, in the garbage. When um, House of the Dragon started advertising itself, um, the first season, they had black people in it, which is historically... Inaccurate. Well, when I say historically, I mean it's a fictional world, but it's it's not in George R. R. Martin's works that there were black Valerians. And then, when the show came out, it wasn't a problem because the show was actually good. The black people that are in the show, you know, there's nothing about really, there's nothing about racism. It's all tribalism. So the black people are part of the royal family or you know ro you know they're you know how they're all like connected they're part of the royal houses and it's not like you don't like us because we're black or whatever no it's it's literally um uh what is it westeros versus other groups you know so it's it hasn't you know racism isn't an issue here the political insertion stuff that they do in a lot of this isn't in the show uh it came out at the same time as um, Rings of Power just swept over Rings of Power like it, like the Black Death did over Europe. And, um, yeah, so I've really been happy. It took me by surprise. I was really happy with this one. But uh, we're going a little bit slow here, so I'm trying to just pick it up. But I just did want to say I was very happily surprised. This is one time that I was actually surprised by the first season. Um, yes. So, no description about the actual show. This is all about Max and stuff. So we don't have a big description. But we did like the video, and we have a 1 minute and 25 second trailer. Are you ready? Always ready. <sighs> I love my awesome Support the Troops Stormtrooper mug. Do you know where you can get a mug just like this one, but different? Bottega Crua. Bottega Crua is an Italian born and raised artisan trained at the Academy of Fine Arts in Venice, Italy. Since 2010, Bottega Crua has offered unique handmade and hand-painted ceramics, pottery, and other artistic products. You can find these products at her Etsy store by following the link down below. She also takes custom orders, but they may take longer to ship because she has to make them after you order them. So 
Go check out Bottega Crua to get yourself an awesome mug just like this one or the ones you've been seeing behind me as this ad has been going on. Remember guys, supporting our partners is supporting the pack. The action pack. Here we go. Errors were made in the hours following King Viserys' death. Yeah. The war will be fought. Many will die. All right. And so, will eventually ascend the throne. So this is just getting into some serious spoilers for the first season. I mean, it's not really like a huge spoiler because I'm going to ask you now. You saw Game of Thrones, right? Yeah. You've heard of you've heard of Dance of Dragons. Yeah. Yeah. So that was the Great War. So this show is covering the Great War between the Targaryens and the Targaryens. All right. Yeah. And the Dance of Dragons is because they have dragons. And this yeah. is kind of where all the dragons died and stopped being around and there are no more dragons left in the world, you know. Um, yeah, if you've it's watched, amazing. if you paid attention to Game of Thrones, you're already going to know how this series ends. And if you start to watch this, you know, and you look around or you'll find on YouTube where they talk about the end, how the the story goes in the books. So you're the the story here is not so. I already know how it ends because of what happened in the books, and watching Game of Thrones. That's not what the story is about. The story is about how it happened, if that makes sense. So yeah. Anyway, continuing yeah. on. All right. There is no war so hateful to the gods. All right. And no war so bloody as a war between dragons. Man, I'm telling you right now, man. Dragons! <laughs> Like, what a great advantage that this show has over Game of Thrones is... Like, one great advantage this show has over Game of Thrones is just simply that in Game of Thrones, the dragons didn't even come into play until the later seasons. Yeah. And in this show... Yeah, this show starts off with every royal member of that. Every royal house member has a dragon. <laughs> so in this... Well, in this show, they talk about how many dragons they actually have. And it's like they yeah. literally have one side, like, because they talk about the battling sides. It's like one side has like three dragons and the other side has like 12 dragons. And so it's literally, they're just like, look, we're just going to roll these guys over. Um, yeah. One thing I will say, without spoiling it for you, particularly Tommy Boy, is that knowing how the story ends is kind of, it does kind of make you go like, oh, it's a little bit sad because... When you heard about it in Game of Thrones, the Dance of Dragons and how it all ended up, you're like, oh, okay, that's how it ended up. Here you start to see the characters unfold and you realize, I don't like how it ended up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like I already, you already kind of know the ending and it actually it almost makes it more interesting. I would tell you, I would tell you at least look at which side wins. Like I'm actually yeah. telling you to spoil this for yourself. And I, um, um, I, but I will tell you that the side that you probably want to win is not going to be the side that wins. Um, which, yeah, which kind of sucks. But actually, go and look it up. Go and I'm not going to do it here because of because of other viewers and stuff. But I will tell you. Maybe I'll tell you off camera when we when we when we go off of here. But I'm actually saying to you, it probably would be better for you to already have known how the Dance of Dragon ends. Uh, but anyway, um, what are your thoughts? <laughs> Uh, it looks it looks great. I definitely need, I need to get caught up on it. Yeah. Yeah. And the CGI and the effects and all that stuff, like these dragons look like yeah. we do not we do not have that problem like even in the Fallout. We just saw the Fallout um trailer and there's that one scene where I said, um, you know, it looks like a video game cutscene. Like that does not look like a video game cutscene. That looks like I'm watching a movie about a dragon that actually was real in real life and it flew over and the cameraman took a shot of it. That's what it looks like. So Yeah. yeah. Look at how huge that dragon is. My God. If 
you like them big and you like them thick. <laughs> there we go. So, um, yeah, and it's a it's a female dragon. That's why I mentioned it. <laughs> you don't ask. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> hey, we are a family friendly show. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um. Yeah, all right. Well, so let's check out the, what the comment section had to say here and see what other people are thinking about it. I'm emotionally unprepared for season two. The story only gets crazy from this point. That's true. Now, so season two is where the actual war starts. Like, the beginning is leading up to what happens, and then the last few episodes of season one is, like, people declaring, like, okay, we are one side and you are the other. Season two is when it's going to be, like, the two sides are going to start bumping uglies here. Uh, this is literally the, the definition of a tragedy. You know the outcome, you hate the outcome, but yet you can't help but watch. See, that's what I'm saying. That's why it's that's why yeah. it's so cool. This is why I'm saying actually spoil this show. Go check out Game of Thrones. Do some research into Game of Thrones and find out who wins the the game of uh, the Dance of Dragons. Um, the fact that it takes five to six seconds to fly overhead is insane. Really shows her size compared to other dragons we've seen. That's Vagar, the the giant dragon we watched. Um, uh, it does not matter which side you are on. This war will be heartbreaking and heart shattering. It's all fire and blood. Yeah. Um, I think that, yeah, the comment section is doing a good job of not spoiling things, but just showing you like the people in the comments, the people who are fans of Game of Thrones and fans of this show are into it. They are really, really into it. So go, go check it out, guys. It's really good. It's, it's going to be out when, when is it out? Let's see when does it come out did it say when it came out summer of 2024 so we don't know yet yeah. just the summer we got some time. So, yeah all right well that was the last movie and movie slash series trailer so let's hop into video games so yeah here we go don't forget to check me out on Twitch and join the Discord where you can voice chat with me while a live stream and you won't be recorded or anything on YouTube and Twitch so that's pretty cool you can also find me on Facebook and Instagram if you like to read, you can see my after action reports on my blog. And if you are interested, you can get some merch from my spring store. The links for everything are in the description below.